Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Darzy. I'm finally back, finally playing some CS, a game you guys all want me to play. You know what guys, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading a lot. I'll be honest, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has been in the way of that, but there is other stuff, other personal stuff that I can't really say because, you know, it's personal stuff. And I trust you guys enough to respect that, so you guys are gonna have to excuse me if I suck ass at this game because I can't play it right now. But I'm finally back, dude, I'm uploading. You know, what did you guys miss? Not much, honestly. I've said in my other videos, dude, I live a pretty normal life. I mean, the only thing really is the other day I went to, like, this appointment. You guys know that my ear is completely fucked, like, I've talked about it a bunch of times and the other day I actually had like this hearing test appointment thing so it was an appointment for my, my hearing because my ear is blocked right and I want to make sure that I'm not like losing my hearing because if I do then that's really bad yeah I had an appointment um I, I went to it and I waited 40 minutes to get in I don't know if it's like that where you guys live all right but like literally every appointment ever in my town just takes like 40 minutes to happen you'll have an appointment at 10 o'clock and it won't happen until 11 all right like I swear it, it, it's brutal but anyway after that I got in I don't know if you guys have ever been to a hearing test but I never have right so this is all new to me so what happened was she sat me down and the first thing she did was she cleaned my ears because it might have been wax You know the doctor thought it was wax like my family doctor thought it was wax So she wasn't sure she just wanted to clean it out and that's what she did She got a bit out, but you know not all of it there's still some but there's always gonna be some wax It's not like that big of a deal. I'm pretty sure it's actually healthy to have some wax. So What the fuck this guy fucking killed me this guy's on my fucking friends list, dude I wrote a poem for you want to hear it. Yes roses are black violets are black everything's black I'm blind <laughs> But anyway, after she cleaned the wax, um, she ended up putting like these earphones in my ears And what she did was she had like this like this control panel type of thing And what she would do was she put like these beeping sounds And I'd tell her if I hear a beep just to know that you know, I can actually hear so I heard some beeping It, it was okay, but I like I heard most of it. I'm pretty sure I mean, I don't know if I missed it She doesn't really tell me but then afterwards she had kind of like this confused look on her face Like she wasn't too sure of what just happened with the test so What she asked me to do is she asked me to follow her into this room And this was like the creepiest fucking room I've ever seen in my life It was a soundproof room, which you know makes sense because they don't want you hearing random stuff. And inside that one room, there was one red chair. Like, this was like a huge square room. Like, a perfect square, dude. And it had one red chair right in the center. I honestly felt alone in that room. Like, I felt isolated from the world. It was weird. Like, I felt like I could die in that room, and no one would hear it. No one would know about it. Like, it felt creepy. I felt like I was gonna die. But I sat in the chair, and what I looked at was a mirror. You know in those, those CIA movies? Those movies about, like, cops and stuff? And they have, like, a victim, and they bring him into a room. And the people in the room see a mirror, but the people on the other side just, like, can see through it like it's a window. That's what it was. I saw a mirror, but she saw me, so it was really creepy. And like I said, it was soundproof, so I couldn't hear a thing. I couldn't hear one thing except for my own, like, body fluids. Like, actually, like, I could hear the blood going through my veins and stuff. Like, I don't know if you guys ever been inside a soundproof room, but it's actually, like, really terrifying. So I got in the room. When I got in there, the beeping started happening again. It was honestly the exact same stuff, except it was in a different room. So I don't know why she made me do it. Clutch, boys. You ready for the clutch? Almost got him, dude. But the beeps started happening again. But this time, it was like some really low-pitched beeps. And they got to a really high-pitched beep. They'll go from low to high. And like, it got really, really fucking high-pitched, dude. Like, I thought my eardrum was gonna pop. Like, I survived it, right? So I guess it's not that bad. So anyway, I finished the test in the room. I got out of there as fast as I could. It just felt like I was in a movie. It felt like I was a test subject or something, you know? It, it just felt weird. Anyway, I was finally done. She told me it was actually something behind my eardrum. And she didn't really tell me what I had to do to get it fixed. Because that's not really her job. She's just kind of supposed to do the test and then send the results to the doctor. No my luck it's probably some kind of surgery it's not something crazy so there's no need for like the hashtag save darzies just yet i'm good for now so until i go see the doctor that has the results now i won't know for sure exactly what it is and the best part about it is that doctor's out of town for like another three weeks but thank you guys so much for watching it really does mean a lot you guys watch my videos it's fucking awesome you guys are fucking awesome and uh yeah stay dank